Hey everybody, today I'll be doing another pretty short video taking a look at this carbon fiber octopus cane sword. This is made by Dragon King Forge, sold uh, where I purchased it from uh, by Cult of Athena, and it's listed on Cass Siberia. And it has a pretty obscene MSRP, in my opinion, of $525, but I think I bought this for around... 240 as a uh, blemished model as a uh, munitions grade model from cult of athena uh, my assumption coming into this usually is that if it's a munitions grade on cult of athena it's going to have a warped blade and this does appear to have a slight turn to it but it's almost imperceptible uh, there could also be some issues with the uh with the, some dings and, and so forth around it, but I haven't really noticed that aspect of it. I assume most of this is because of, again, uh, that slightly warped blade. That wasn't really too much of a concern to me for a couple of reasons, and the main reasons why I haven't done and won't do a longer, more in-depth video on this sword and maybe the history of cane swords and, and so on. Um, I believe they're also called stick swords in the UK. Matt, uh, almost said Matt Jensen, uh, Matt Easton over at Scola Gladiatoria did a pretty fun video where he went through and read uh, news articles and police reports on uh, people having used these uh, in, uh, I'm not going to say combat, but in fights and murders and so on. So uh, if, I recommend checking that out. I'll throw a link in the description if you want to check out some stuff about stick swords. Uh, but this cane sword is... An overall length of 37 and three quarters inches, a blade length of 22 inches, and an advertised weight of one pounds, 15 ounces, and the blade is made of 9260 carbon steel. The uh, handle material on this is listed as carbon fiber. It feels like actual carbon fiber. I don't think it's a, uh, I don't think it's a plastic material or wood with just a, a. Uh, some kind of decal or something and actually does feel like carbon fiber and it looks like the scabbard itself or I should say the cane portion not really the scabbard uh, I guess it's both um, is uh, probably a wood core so probably overlaid with this carbon fiber material uh, it has what I believe here is a steel perhaps alloy uh, collar here and then because it really is an actual usable cane theoretically uh, this little rubber end piece now the main reason why I bought this cane sword is because I like uh, Cthulhu stuff uh, Lovecraft stuff and so I tend to buy things uh, that are octopus or kraken themed and were topped with what I think is a pewter uh, handle up here with the the head of the thing being kind of the handle. Now it's a little short for me to really use. I have to stoop just a tiny bit whenever I'm standing full up to actually use as a cane. And uh, that's part of the reason why I haven't done and won't do a, a more in-depth video is because I'm not really sure how to evaluate this. I don't use a cane um, and uh, I'm not really much on dedicated thrusting swords which this pretty much is now i was able to produce one really nice cut right off the bat um, after i put an edge on it uh, from the factory it has a continual grind uh, to the edge but uh, there's not really an edge on it it's you can run pretty safely or i could pretty safely run my hand along the edge because again i think these are intended to be more of a, of a like a rapier like dedicated thrusting sword uh, i did sharpen the edge myself though of course you can have them sharpened by cult of athena whoever you buy it from more than likely will offer a sharpening service i tend to find that i uh, am pretty picky about my edges so i just put them on myself uh, and this one uh, actually would cut a little bit uh, it would cut uh, the, like I said the very first bottle I tried cut well um, that's the only good cut I was able to produce on it um, I couldn't really ever produce a good cut I could cut into the bottle but not really get that good clean cut and that's really because again I think this blade is meant for more for thrusting so that's fine I don't really have any expectations in that regard and again I'm not really sure how to evaluate this uh, because it's a thrusting sword and it's a cane, and I don't really use uh, either of those things. So uh, I will say, though, that uh, the grip here is completely cylindrical. 
at least as far as my naked eye can see, it is totally round, so that may, makes indexing effectively impossible, um, or at least really, really difficult to do uh, effectively. So really for me, this was intended to be more of uh, an ornamental sword. I got it because, again, uh, I like the, the octopus theme, thing, the, theme and uh, I like... Uh, I like how the sword looks. It's It's got this nice glossy mirror polish that's very attractive to me, especially going back and looking back over the cutting footage, cutting footage uh, that I put together. It, the, it looks really nice uh, overall, in my opinion, especially for uh, the price of the munitions grade version. Lockup and everything seems tight on it. Uh, one issue that I've noticed is this little notch for the button to release the sword from the rest of the stick is just large enough to catch that tip of the blade and run the edge into it, which is a little bit unpleasant because I'm sure that'll nick the edge up a little bit. So you almost have to be kind of careful putting it back in. Uh, but it locks up pretty tightly. Uh, it's got a little bit of play here. And of course, it rattles a bit. Uh, to be honest with you, if someone saw me walking down the street, uh, twirling this thing around, uh, putting on the Ritz, I don't think there would be any doubt at all that I was walking around with a sword. <laughs> it uh, seems fairly obvious to me, not uh, the most inconspicuous, but nevertheless, uh, kind of cool looking, I think. Um, they also offer a much more expensive hardwood version, um, again, because I was just buying this for the, uh, the aesthetic value of it. Uh, I went with the cheapest that I could get, which was the carbon fiber munitions grade. So, yeah, uh, that's my... Thoughts, or I guess uh, experience with this cane sword or stick sword if you're over in the UK. Uh, I don't know how this handle would really hold up um, to any kind of destruction or anything, but I'm not planning on destroying it. Uh, so take that how you will. So yeah, uh, this is Jay, and hope you're having a good one, and I will catch you again next time.